Are you going to put up the lunch too? Okay. So if you can ask any more questions, do you at least find me last? I got that too. <laughs> <laughs> we have our trusty Palico already up here. Awesome! Alright, so I'm not needing it. <laughs> Alright, how many of you are new hunters? Who's a new hunter in here? Never uh, heard of the game, never played it before. Beginning, beginning hunters. I'm, I'm on the I'm demo. I'm on the demo. <laughs> you okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's time. you're getting practicing. You got, you got your Kevley horns already. We're good to get yeah, you're good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So, just a quick explanation of what we're going to be doing here. We're going to do a quick explanation of you know, what the game is, how to play, and where our main focus right now is trying to get you comfortable with your weapon types. Because you and your weapon are your best friend. That's the key element of the game. That's what you need. Your weapons will be with you at all times. You need to take care of them. And if you ain't got to take care of your weapons, they ain't taking care of you, and you better hope the pallet goes good. <laughs> so far, this one's been amazing so far. Found everything yes. in this room pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get this on started. Yeah, yeah. So you want to begin this? Sure. Okay. Intro. This is just the basic intro to the weapons in the game. Besides your hunting partners, palicos, shakalakas, that's from Free Ultimate, your weapon is your best friend in the game, as was said. This is why it's so important to choose the best weapon for you in the game. Your hunting style, you prefer speed, prefer speed. Swing away, shoot something, and just hope so you'll get killed. So you can't be Leroy that. Johnson? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you will not get your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Um, right place to start is your real fine style. You know, do you, you run right into it, get in its face? Do you like to stay back and you know, throw something at it? And how do you make the best choice for you? Well, that's why we're here. So basically, to explain some of your attacks, each, some weapons have elemental effects to them, which are fire, water, ice, thunder, dragon. Then you have status elements, which are paralysis, sleep, poison, and blight. To a quick explanation of blight, it's something that can kind of affect your stamina, just some aspect of yourself. Like, uh, the main one is like water blight, and that you know, slows down your stamina, and you can't regain it as fast. For most monsters, um, most monsters, are either attributed with fire, water, thunder, ice, dragon. If they're weak to a certain element, pick one of these weapons that is strong in it so you can attack better. That will really help you in the hunt. Um, there is one other status ailment, but we all, we all know that, or we sh most of us should know, that it, the blast blade it's only been it, it's only been a small thing so far. It's not one of the primary. Yeah, there attacks. is technically one more uh, element that's slime or blast, and basically how that works is it's a slime coating on your weapons. You can stack it up multiple times, and once it's stacked to its max, it will explode, damaging the monster in any place that's been hit. Okay, and we continue on to our next thing: your sharpness. For our blade masters in here, you know what sharpness is and you know that it's important. You cannot just be swinging <coughs> constantly against something or you're just going to be hitting butter knife to a rock. Your weapon will get weak and you need to keep it sharp otherwise. Nobody likes a bouncy weapon. Yeah, you I'm, I'm going to sharpen my blunt hammer, thank you. <laughs> Why does a hammer need to be sharpened? I mean, you figure the blunt of the bed. It's Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> It's just one of the blade master weapons, so you just have to sharpen it. Even if your weapon isn't bouncing, say you have blue sharpness, if it's still not bouncing, but you're missing a ball, you're missing that white sharpness, still, the more sharpness you have, the more damage you're doing. That could be the difference between you still being in the hunt versus getting the kill or the trap. And the next thing is awaken. Not all elemental attacks on a weapon are actually active. You have to have, what is it, a talisman or... You have to have free element. 
the free element skill, although it is good for some, it's it's more of a skill where, say, somebody's deciding to use a weapon that has the. It, have y'all? Has anyone seen the gray? I can I can explain that one. Yeah. The free element skill, what it does is it hides the main premise of your weapon without it actually being fully unlocked, which is exactly. kind of a lot of weapons that have high attack damage but very low elemental damage. The free element skill giving you awoken awakens the ability, the hidden ability of the elemental effect, which can be anything from paralysis or to the actual five elements. But it actually allows you to use that hidden ability. Not really all that premise as a primary weapon, but allows you to do extra damage against the monster while having high attack. Give that man a right. go ticket. <laughs> 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 I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Monster Hunter for Exile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing. I've been playing from Freedom Unite all the way up to this point, and I actually went backwards and started playing Freedom Two and then Freedom One. So him and I have been playing since the first. He actually got me into it, and I, I actually started playing around Freedom, and then Freedom Two, Freedom Unite stuff. So. Yeah. Back in the old school days when the Rathalos was the bad boy, <laughs> yeah. well, no, nothing else that could compete with him. But now. Kind of yeah, now, yeah. We got, now we got monsters. Now he's yeah. a pusher. <laughs> now everything is just more OP than normal. Alright, All right. let's continue on. So, okay, we're actually going to talk about the weapons now. Yeah. Now, actual weapons. Your Blade Master weapons. You have Great Sword, Long Sword, Sword and Shield, Dual Blade, Lance, Hammer, Hunting Horde, and Gun Lance, Charge Blades, Switch Axe, and Insect Glaze. Fun <laughs> Yes, <laughs> fun stick. They're fun stick. And we're going over each of these. Yes. The gun and weapons. Very, very sad list of guns. <laughs> of course, your light and heavy bow guns and your bows. Yay. Still good. I'm going to say, we don't need fancy ways to kill a monster. Uh, we we fancy ammo. Just shoot it multiple times. Yes, yes. and hope and prayer. Shoot it down, down just lay it on the ground like you don't <laughs> exist. <laughs> Watch the Diablo's cartoon video. All right, first weapon up, the great sword. Ooh. We have our great sword expert here. Do you want to explain your great sword? <laughs> the great sword is very sluggish to some. However, it's more of a hit and move weapon. Once you hit, you really don't want to stay in a position for long. If a monster's down, flashbang, pitfalled, shocked, paralyzed, anything, you can wail on them for a while. Great sword is the strongest weapon in the game for one specific aspect. When you charge, three times, you are doing triple whatever your weapon says. And then, add this, if a monster is asleep and you hit the weak spot, you're doing triple, and because he's asleep, you're doing double the triple. That's why if you ever see a great sorter in your party and a monster is asleep, let the great sorter do his job. Bombs, let him get it. Gunners, I know y'all do it because it's just natural, but let the great sword do the job, please. And it's actually uh, something else I figured out a long time ago when I was doing some studies. Mm -hmm. When the great sword user hits bombs, whatever your damage is of your weapon, you transition the bombs to your damage. And exactly. You, do that as well. you can do it. I believe the max damage with a full hunting party, putting bomber <coughs> plus, and a great sword user that has one of the strongest in the game, you could d easily dish out close to 60,000 damage. Almost I, killing a monster. Higher than that, because actually, if you get a hunting horn, if you get a hunting horn master that has a horn lore and actually gets attack out large three times. Strategy. Yep, you can actually do over seventy-three thousand damage. You actually can kill. Great swords with hunting horns, along with HBGs, you can one shot it. You can one shot G Kirins. I'm dead serious. You can one shot them. like nothing. Man. Now, funny There's thing nothing. about this game is they say it is not a role reliant game. But it's, it is. Why? <laughs> if you try to run into a part into a fight using, okay, there are those YouTubers out there that try to say, oh, you can go against this, that, and the other with like a full party of say insect waves, great swords, and all this other stuff. Don't do it. It's not a smart idea. All right, well, let's move on to our next one: the long swords. Long swords are great for. I like to call them a great mixture from the speed of dual blades to the power of great swords. They're of amazing reach. You can just reach that blade right there, poke them, and keep on moving. 
And once you've got the charge on the blade enough, then you can, you know, once the monster's down, never try to do this when they're looking at you, you can actually activate your full combo, which is several swings, and you can actually awaken another levels of power, which you've seen the different glows of, on your blades, which is purple, white, yellow. Anybody else add anything? I'm not a big user. No, no longer so. Go ahead. You want to say anything? Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm going up here, man. I've used every weapon in the game. What I can actually say, long sword, uh, the three basic weapons that I can kind of say if you want to start off great sword, your heavy power. That's the best thing you're going to get. There's nothing that's going to beat our Greatsword. Uh, I know they added Charge Blade and Insect Blade. Charge Blade, everyone likes Impact Base. Mm -hmm. It's good for knocking out. Hammers and Hunting Horns are still the best at knocking out. Yeah. Impact Blade, Impact Charge Blades are good for that aspect, but that's a whole other topic. We're not there yet. <laughs> Long Swords. Long Swords are the bob and weave, but I don't want to be, I want to be able to see the fight, but I'm not so far in the fight. By the time I find out the monster's dead, I'm still cutting its way through its kidneys. <laughs> that's what Gold Blades are. Longsword is I have the ability to hit you and I can get kind of fancy with it. Um, the last part of it, as you was going through and saying, that you can actually awaken your blade is called the spirit stances, where you can actually hit a monster and kind of do a little fancy stuff. You can hit them once and you can use either your your basic attack or your kind of side swap, which is usually your circle if you're on the uh, Nintendo's or it's no, it's not, no it's circle. It's B. B. Yeah, it's B. Yeah, but no, that's how you start it up. But um, but you can kind of open it up and you can do a little bit more moves. Now, they kind of added some intricate, nice little features to it. You can stop your spirit stance midway. Let's say if the monster's kind of turning towards you and they might get real aggressive, you can back up or you can actually start using directions to bob and weave away from the monster. And let's just say, by the time you back up and hit it, it falls over. Well, you can now hit your uh, right trigger again to reinitiate to get more damage back into it, which the first slice doesn't cost anything, which is actually pretty good damage. <coughs> All right. Here's your long sword. One more comment on the long sword from a cooperative point of view. It is one of the better friendly fire weapons. You tend to knock yes, over your dual exactly. users and knock over your great sword weapon. users because uh, it swings far left and far it's right. It's a very There's wide weapon. Every monster, you'll trip. Not really. Because a lot of lancers right. and dumb lancers sit primarily forward, and a lot of weak spots of monsters are actually sitting there too. They don't have trip invulnerability since they're more stationary as defensive walls, mm -hmm. not set up as anything else but that. So you'll actually start tripping your allies. Most mobile allies, like great sword users, who are nothing but freaking super armor through 90% of everything they do. And high speed targets like dual blade, sword and shield, even light bow gun, all have invulnerability, which is kind of weird. Whether the defense don't have any. Okay. Would you say the long sword's kind of like Sephiroth's sword with how long it is? Yes. 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 That's, That's very long. long. That's very actually, long. It's actually a funny thing because when the first Monster Hunter game was released, they actually said it was sort of based off of his weapon. Yeah. Okay. Because of how long it was, it's that actually a um, Gen Masamune, which is the extreme reach, it was a horse killer. Yeah, because then, uh, then I think in the first Monster Hunter, they actually had the one of the strongest components was the Masamune. Yes, it was the... To give you a rough estimate of the, of the length of it, if I had a two-scale one, I could probably poke our camera in the face from right here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the next Okay, guys, one. quick comment. We only have a half hour for this panel, and we have less than 15 minutes left. So if you guys have a lot of questions or want to talk more about the game, we will be out here. find we will us be afterwards. Out. We'll be right here. We can hunt, we'll do whatever you guys want. Yeah, but let's try to knock these out. Alright, All right, sword and shield. Sword and shield is the first weapon you are actually equipped with when you start the game. It's a very it's a light weapon. It's very easy to use. You've got a nice shield. It's not a very sturdy shield now. You can't be sitting there like a lancer and a gun lancer and just taking everything. You're going to get hit with a strong one. You're going to get knocked back. Which is something I forgot to cover with the uh, great sword. You can block with it, but if you get hit with it, you're gonna get thrown out of the fight. Yeah, and it, the sword. I, I've tried the sword and shield, and I, my, I primary the gun lance. Yeah. Sword and shield. The sword and shield. Yeah, you, you're sitting here. You try to block with that shield. You're gonna sit here, and you're gonna get. Just fired. keep in mind, sword and shield. Your attack's a little lower. Hit multiple times. Uh, Jump, move. move. Keep on. The, keep on. The, keep on the move. That's all you have to run for. Not speed of weapons. Not made, together, not made for action attack. <laughs> if your weapon can't cut them, whatever elements in your weapon is going to kill them. Mm -hmm. And okay. something mm -hmm. entirely unique about the sword and shield: when you're blocking, you can use items without putting it yep. yeah. away. That's a, that's yeah. a little... It's a perk. It's, it's good for a perk. Yeah. Yeah. 
my personal favorite. Yes. These are the dual blades. In fact, here's a great example. Kuga. These are the two guys. Frail figures. They're actually featured in the picture. So this is from the Green Dark Kuga. All right. Dual blades. They're another one of the speed weapons. This, you have barely any defense, so you're definitely going to want that blade master armor with a lot of defense. You're going to be in the monster's face as much as you can. You can't step back. You can't be timid with this, but you have to be able to heal up fast. Um, wonderful thing about the dual blades, you have demon mode. It takes down your stamina, but this will deal a lot more damage to the monster. Um, another another thing about uh, dual blades <coughs> in your awakened demon dance form, you are extremely mobile. Mm -hmm. I love it entirely. Only problem is, is when you do your dashes, you're going to drain your stamina even faster. Mega Mega dash juice juice is your yeah. best yes. Yes. Chug that stuff like it's going out of style. <laughs> go into demon dance, and you can zip across the battlefield. Twin soldiers, one of the best skills if you're drinking that mega dash juice. Item use or uh, item use up, and my personal favorite skill, light eater or rationer. All of them you, It will let you use an item. Fifty percent of the fifty percent of the. Uh, I, I can't talk. Um, fifty percent of the chance without using actually using. Exactly. Where are we going? Yeah. All right. Hammer. hammer. Yes. Our palico here is actually a hammer expert here. <laughs> so, a hammer is, it's a brute force. You know, it is there to cause make, brain tumors and knock whatever you're trying to fight. It, it's, it's there to cause damage. It's there to be. <coughs> it's not quite. From it's not like the Monster Hunter, but. Yeah. Now, battling positions. Most DPS people want to try to be either on the sides or probably directly under the monster, because that's a really big blind spot that people don't really think of on 